Hey, what's going on, guys? It is B. Avery here, and I want to thank you for tuning in to another episode of Just My Opinion, where this video is another box office rundown. We are talking solo, a Star Wars story, with it being in its second week. Deadpool 2, Adrift, Avengers Infinity War, Upgrade, everything that came out. We're just going to go over the box office, uh, going to go over the top five, the top ten, worldwide, records, domestic, all that good stuff. And as you already know, Solo is out in theaters right now, guys. It is in its second weekend. Unfortunately, um, it did not do as well as the studio projected, as, as what fans thought it would do, what critics thought it would do. Um, it did, you know, 80, 84 million the first weekend, which in my opinion and everybody else's opinion for the most part is pretty much horrible. But now we are in the second weekend, guys. So how much, you know, did it, did it drop 40%, 50%, 60%? How much did it drop? Unfortunately, Solo, a Star Wars story, is just stinking it up at the box office bringing in only $29,396,882. It dropped 65.2% and is now in 4,300 locations. Man, that is horrible, horrible, horrible. I feel so sorry for this film. Um, 60% or 65% is a lot, especially if you don't make a lot open the weekend. Any other regular films that wanted to open up at $84 million, you know, that's, hey, that's fine, but... You know, this is like one of the most expensive Star Wars movies uh, ever made, I believe, because I kind of had to shoot it and film it twice or whatever. So this is just bad. I believe there was rumors of reports that it even cost more than The Force Awakens, which was over two hundred and fifty million dollars. So uh, sorry, Lando, uh, Donald Glover and um, the other guy, the, the solo, the main guy playing solo, Alden, Alden Aaron Wright or whatever. Um, Woody Harrelson, I feel sorry for all you guys. Coming in at number two is um, Deadpool 2, bringing in $23 million, and it dropped 47, uh, 46%, right now at 4,100 theaters. Um, this is its third week in release. Um, of course, the first film is still performing uh, better. When I look at the showdown um, of each film of the Deadpool series, um, Deadpool one beat it in every weekend. It won one weekend one, two, three, and four. At this, you know, the third weekend for Deadpool one was thirty one million, whereas uh, Deadpool two is twenty three million. I've only seen the film once. I do plan on seeing it at least one time, um, and it is, of course, great enough for me to block buy on uh, Blu Ray when that comes out. Um, now coming in at number three is Adrift. Um, this film sh starring Shane Lee and Woodley and. Uh, what is his name? Sam Coughlin is directed by Baltasar Karmakor, Kar Kar Kor, excuse me. Like I said, the budget for that film was $35 million. Um, it took in 12, or I'm sorry, it took in a $11,603,039 um, and 3,000 locations. I just, I saw the film, thought it was a pretty good film. Um, please subscribe to my channel and you can check out the review for that. So that comes in at number three. Coming in number four is Avengers Infinity War, dropped 39%. It is now in its sixth week, bringing in another $10 million. And we're going to talk about Avengers Infinity War more, more in just a second. Book Club comes in at number five, um, bringing in $7 million. Right now, that worldwide uh, total is $48 million. So I don't know how much the budget is. I think it was thirty million dollars. I could be wrong, but you know that's uh, up. Um, that is number five. Coming in at number six is another new release because Adrift was the first new release, and uh, Upgrade will be the second. Is uh, being done by Blumhouse, um, Jason Blum, and his studio. First week, it brought in four million dollars. I saw the film. I do have a review for it up on my channel. Uh, please go subscribe and check that out. It stars Logan Marshall Green. It's written directed by Leigh Whannell, who was um, um, famous for the Saw movies. It was a really good film. I, I like it right now. Domestically, overall, it's standing at five million dollars. Um, I don't know how much the budget was, though. Let me try to look it up real quick because I actually do care about this film and wanted to perform uh, well um, as far as the box office is concerned because. Uh, it's to my understanding, this is somewhat of an original property. 
Uh, so the budget it says was between three to five million dollars. So let's just say that it was at five million dollars. Hopefully this film will re reach around 15, 20 million. I don't know if it will be released overseas, but I can actually actually look to see if it is going to be um, released overseas because I mean it's a it's a pretty good film and I think it um, it is worth uh, your penny. Um, it does not have a worldwide release schedule other than Australia, June 14th and UK and Estonia, August 31st. So we're just going to have to see, um, how upgrade does, but you know, it is a good film. It came in at number six, bringing in, like I said, $4 million life of the party comes in at number seven, bringing in another $3 million. Um, that film right now is at 55 million worldwide. Um, I believe the budget for that was. 30 million dollars so it needs to make some more money breaking in with gabrielle union that comes in at number uh what is that number eight here bringing in another two million dollars dropped 34 percent life of the party and breaking in both was released uh mother's day weekend they're both in their fourth week they both dropped 44 34 percent breaking in is performing better because it was much cheaper the budget was only six million dollars so that's what's up my sister gabrielle union uh shout out to you girl looking good in them jeans coming in at number nine is action point i did not see this film yet i do plan on seeing it the reviews are not looking well it brought in two million dollars 2.3 million dollars in this first week um, but that came in at number nine um budget was 19 million dollars so man y'all need to recoup this somehow because it looks like y'all are going to be wasting some money but uh, you know this is johnny knoxville the guy that is in all the jackass movies and you know shows like that um, and then last but not least, Overboard does come in at number 10, uh, bringing in another $1.9 million. Now, other films that took on my fancy, of course, The Quiet Place is doing good. Rampage, uh, I'm still really um, ha happy with. Uh, I think it made a decent amount of money um, to warrant a sequel. Uh, budget was 120 right now. It's at 417 million worldwide. So, you know, that's, that's doing, f you know, that's doing fairly well. Uh, where were you at here? Rampage. Uh, where is that movie Truth or Dare? Where are you at Truth or Dare? Because that is a Blumhouse movie too. And it was making a killing. So, um, you know, I'm just a fan of that because it was so cheap. Yeah, there we are. Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare. Budget was 3.5 million right now worldwide. It's at $85 million. So that's great. Now, where, where's my baby Black Panther? Where are you at? Black Panther is number 19 at the box office right now. It is in its 16th week. It brought in another $246,000. Okay. Domestically. Woo, man. It is right there. $699 million. To be exact, $699,160,600. So, that is uh, $800K. Like eight hundred and eight hundred, uh, like eight hundred thousand dollars away, like eight hundred thousand thirty for forty dollars for four hundred or something like that. Um, I can't do the math right now for some reason, but it's right a little over eight hundred k away from hitting that one million dollars. Or not, I mean that seven hundred million dollars domestically. Right, it's still one point three four five billion worldwide. I don't know if it's gonna make it, guys. I really wanted to. I really wanted to, but you know, uh, it's going to, I mean, it brought in 240,000 this past weekend. So that's going to be cut probably in half next weekend, bringing in another hundred and hundred thousand. So I don't know. I, I mean, I wanted to, but to be realistic, I, it's going to be, it's going to be like 300,000 away or something maybe, but I, I really do hope it reaches that $700 million, um, uh, landmark or whatever. Um, and it's the actual run. But that is the top 10 guys right there, plus um, just a little bit of uh, uh, other things that I'm paying attention to as far as uh, certain films that I am fond of. But uh, Star Wars, man, that's just not that's just not looking good right now. I've already raved and ranted about the release schedule and why it's doing so bad. When you look at the showdown on Box Office Mojo in between the daily numbers for Saw, um, Solo Star Wars Story, it's not even remotely close to everything else. This movie is getting its butt whooped. Um, right now, worldwide, Star Wars Solo, a Star Wars story, is at 267 
million dollars that's not a lot man that's not a lot foreign it, it didn't bring in that much i think it brought in just another like 30 or 40 million dollars foreign no excuse me not in one country but in all of them all the territories internationally so it's just not it's just not looking hot right now for a solo a star wars story uh but last but not least guys i want to go over the opening showdown the opening weekend showdown where, of course, every week I compare The Force Awakens, The Rest of the World, The Avengers, The Last Jedi, Black Panther, and Avengers Infinity War. Um, actually, before I do that, Avengers Infinity War is right there almost at $2 billion worldwide. Uh, $1.3 billion foreign internationally. $644 million domestically, so it's at $1.967. million. It will reach the... Um, the two billion dollar mark it's just a matter of when uh, i think that it will be there uh, by the time by this time next week uh but when i look at the opening weekend showdown between those six films the biggest openings of all time um of course avengers infinity war takes the cake the opening weekend with that 257 but if you look at the day-to-day -day, which i've been talking about each week black panther is still kicking everybody's butt okay so, um, like Monday, um, cause I'm filming this late, the last day in the release, you know, uh, um, Avengers Infinity War brought in $1.1 million where Black Panther brought in 1.8. So the domestic toll right now for Avengers Infinity War is $644 million. At this time, Black Panther was at 633, but it's catching up. It's only eleven million dollar difference. It started out at it started out at about a fifty five million dollar jump from the opening weekend and in between these films. But Black Panther just has better legs, and uh, I just knew when Black Panther was in his early stages, uh, I mean early weeks of release, I just knew that Infinity War would surpass it domestically. But of course, we got the stupidest release schedule of all time with Avengers: Infinity War, Deadpool two, and Solo: a Star Wars Story are being released in five weeks. And then there was not as much Black Panther lore in Infinity War as I thought. So there was some people that was right. I mean, yeah, yeah. and I was wrong. Because I just knew that um, Avengers Infinity War would hit that 700, but I honestly don't think it will. Um, and that's just, uh, you know, that's too bad. But, you know, I wasn't profiting off the film um, anyway. But we're just going to have to see. Maybe they'll both level out. Maybe they both still will reach 700 million. I do hope so, just because I, I want them to. Um, you know, just cause it looks good on paper, but you know, um, yeah, but guys, that is just my opinion on the box office rundown for a solo, a star Wars story in its week two, um, uh, box office run worldwide and a number of other films. Uh, what did you think? Did I leave anything out? Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Or you disagree with me? Uh, let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also uh, look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff there in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for the box office rundown of all the latest released films. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Hit Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.